What's up guys, Veteran Vinny here. If this is your first time with us, our voices and faces are disguised so we can give you the best information out there without being detected. Today's video is going to be discussing the Navy SARC's HM ATF contract for civilians who join the Navy trying to get a shot at the SARC pipeline, which we will be from now on referring to as the Street to Fleet Program. If you're wondering what ATF stands for, it stands for Advanced Technical Field. SARC stands for Special Amphibious Reconnaissance Corpsmen, which are Special Operations Independent Duty Corpsmen who are embedded with Recon, MARSOC, and DEVGRU. We made a video last year discussing them, so if you want to give that a look, the link will be in the description. Within the past year, the Navy has afforded entry-level sailors an opportunity to try out for one of the Corman Ratings' three special programs. Before we dive into it, please take a moment to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel. And do not hesitate to ask us questions in the comment section below. We check everything. With the new Street to Fleet program, future sailors are now locked in to get a shot at a special program for Corman. We mentioned that there are three of them, which are SARC, Dive Medical Technician, or DMT, and Search and Rescue, or SAR. These three programs all have a completely different pipeline and physical standards that are required for entry, but fall under the same contract a future sailor will sign. If you want to see videos about DMTs or SAR Corman, let us know in the comments section below. Now, this isn't like the Warrior Challenge program like SEAL, SWIC, EOD, Navy Diver, and Air Rescue Candidates. Corman contracts with the Street to Fleet program will not be placed in 800 Division and Boot Camp, nor will they be required to take physical screening tests, or PSTs, with a mentor prior to shipping out. This puts candidates at two disadvantages. One, boot camp will cause them to be more out of shape since less opportunities will be afforded to them during those eight weeks where they can work on their water capabilities and endurance. Two, once candidates show up at Corman A School in San Antonio, Texas, they are not in the shape that the mentors want them to be in for whatever the candidate wishes to pursue. While these are disadvantages, they can most definitely be mitigated. Since the Street to Fleet program only guarantees a shot at one of the programs, it is not a guarantee that a candidate will get a shot at the SARC pipeline if that is their goal. Their PST scores have to be up to par, as well as however the cadre views them in their training at SOC-P, which is the program that is run at A-School to screen these candidates. The cadre at A-School are the gatekeepers to your future. So if these disadvantages aren't being dealt with in a smart manner, a Sark hopeful could wind up being stuck as a DMT and have a five-year commitment as one of them. The PST score minimums differ between the programs. The Sark PST minimums are at SEAL standards, which is a 12-30 swim, 50 push-ups in two minutes, 50 sit-ups in two minutes, 10 pull-ups, and a mile and a half run in 10 minutes and 30 seconds. For DMT candidates, it is a 12-30 swim, 50 push-ups in 2 minutes, 50 sit-ups in 2 minutes, 6 pull-ups, and a 12-30 mile and a half run. We're not entirely sure what the standard is for SAR Corman, but the Cadre A School will hold you to some sort of standard regardless. In order to prevent wasting your time and others, you need to ensure that you are training hard before you ship off the boot camp. Find a program that works for you. If you're going for SARC, try doing the MARSOC prep guide. If you're going for DMT, look something that gets you in great shape both in and out of the water. The better shape you'll be before you go to boot camp, the better shape you'll be when you get out. It's inevitable that you'll lose some of your hard work while you're in there, but you'll be better off in the long run. We will be doing a PST and PST training video in the future, so stay tuned for that if you want any extra information on how to be better prepared. Speaking of PSTs, even though you will not be required to associate with the Warrior Challenge program mentors, we highly advise you find out where they meet up and participate with their PSTs and workouts. They can't hurt you, and they're most likely happy to help. It's worth mentioning that with civilians being able to go straight into the Navy for these programs, it puts fleet returnees in a slight disadvantage as more bills will be filled up for the pipeline, in addition to it being cheaper for the Navy to send the entry level trainees through instead of them. If you're a fleet returnee looking to get a shot at becoming a SARC, DMT, or SARC, Corman, do not fret. You'll still have a chance, just not as big as one you would have had a few years ago. For anyone looking to see the manning levels of SARCs, or any of the NECs in general, check out the Navy NPC website and click the NEC snapshot for Corman. It tells you the manning levels of every single NEC the Corman rating has, and this is information that is open to the public. We're not sure if candidates in the pipeline count as filling the billets, but either way, SARCs are undermanned. As of the time of this video, the Corman Enlisted Community Manager, or ECM, is currently not accepting convert-in quotas as the Corman rating is currently being downsized by the Navy. This can always change in a couple years, so if you're an active duty sailor with another rating, never say never and create some connections so hopefully someone up in Millington can pull some strings for you. The Street to Fleet program for the Navy Corps and Special Programs are a great addition to the Navy's recruiting arsenal and should have been implemented years ago. It's nice to see that there is a semi-direct route for Sark hopefuls to get into the pipeline now, instead of taking a huge gamble becoming a corpsman and hoping all of the stars align for them. 
As this is still a new concept, it is likely to change a little bit here and there. And while some recruiters may be shady, your best bet is to discuss details with them. Just remember, it's your life, and to most recruiters, you're just a quota for them for the month. So don't let them coax you into something you truly don't want to do. Well, that covers the Navy Corpsman Street to Fleet Special Program. We at General Discharge hope this cleared up a lot of stuff for you guys and answered a lot of questions. If you learned something new from this video, make sure to show us some love and support by liking the video and subscribing to our channel. As always, thanks for watching. What would you like to see next? All your friends are subscribing to General Discharge and you don't even want to be here.